Hello there guys! This is in fact my second attempt to record in this part as uh, in the first part there was background noises so I'm going to have to redo it but this is my fifth part of the X-Files video game playthrough so uh, let's load the game and start the gameplay To recap from last time as it's been a while ago now since I played it as I had my uh, laptop problems. We, uh, we are about to um, investigate the Terracon here. So let's do that now.
Let me know if you see anything. This looks interesting. Looks like Cyrillic. Seattle PD has a task force investigating smuggling out of the former Soviet Union. They've got a full-time translator over there. I can get it translated. I'll handle the translation. Whoa there, cowboy. What do you mean you'll handle the translation? This is still my case. Two of my fellow agents are missing, so don't fight me on this. Of course you're right. I wasn't thinking. Look at this. What is it? I have no idea. Well, be careful with it. Relax. It looks like an explosive device. Well, it could be. It's certainly heavy enough. Maybe we should call in a hazmat team. <laughs> Let's not overreact, okay? What the hell are you doing? You really need to cut down to one cup a day. It's empty. What is it? I don't know. But I do know one very happy lab technician. Come with me. I want to show you something. See these outlines here on the side of the cabin? Yeah, it's kind of frightening, isn't it? What causes it? I have no idea. It reminds me of pictures I've seen of Hiroshima. How's that? Well, the blast from the bomb left the outline of people behind. I don't know why. I can barely remember it. I was only a kid when I saw the picture. Jesus, scared the bejesus out of me. Hmm. I'm not having much luck over here so far. Place looks like it's already been dusted for prints. Oh yeah, so it has. Probably from the first investigation into the fire. Hey, this is strange. It looks like there's a fresh set of prints over the top of the old ones. Yeah, somebody's put their hand on this after it's already been dusted. Either that's pretty sloppy police work or somebody else has been here. Well, we better have them lifted.
John, it's Craig. I need a set of prints lifted. Ooh, field work, my favorite. Where? Camden Impound Dock. The boat's called the Terracon. These are prints that were laid on top of a previously dusted set. I love a challenge. Flag the spot for me. I'll take care of it. Hey, Detective. Truett from the coroner's office just called. They've completed the autopsy on Mr. Wong. She's found something you ought to see. Well, looks like we're headed to the coroner's. I can hardly wait. This is Agent Wilmo with the FBI. He questioned Wong yesterday. I hope you found out everything you needed to know. What have you got? This is undoubtedly one of the most unusual autopsies I've ever performed. This man died from a single gunshot wound to the back of the head. Large caliber weapon, point blank range. He was also a drug user. It looks like he was high at the time of death. That would account for the lack of struggle. But if the slug or the drugs didn't kill him, this man would have been dead within a matter of weeks anyway. Oh, Jesus. Why? He was completely riddled with massive tumors. I've never seen anything like it. What would cause something like that? I have no idea. But I've never seen a human being so eaten alive with cancer. <sighs> God, I hate coming here. So do I. Okay then, let's see what happens when we show her a photograph of Agents Mulder and Scully. Here's the picture here, in the dossier or the folder that we uh, received off Skinner at the beginning of the game. So, so. Mm, I don't want that. Well, they're FBI agents. They were here a couple of days ago. Is that the slug? Yes, it is. I'd like to have it analyzed. That'd be all right, I suppose.
Have you seen anything else like this recently? No. How long have you been taking drugs? I don't know anything about that. What kind of cancer was it? Well, here's the weird thing. You see, these, these are three separate kinds of cancer. It wouldn't surprise me if it turned out he had a few more. It's as if his entire endocrine and immune system suddenly went haywire. Is there a name for this? Bizarre. No, I mean, is there a syndrome or something that explains it? No, not that I've ever heard of. How do you know he was high? Well, it's mainly a hunch. Little things. Uh, state of craniovascular relaxation, total dilation of the pupils, things like that. I've seen it before, but the blood work will confirm it. What could have caused cancer like this? I have no idea. This isn't exactly my field, first of all, but I can't imagine what would trigger something like this. Some kind of massive carcinogenic exposure, I guess. Radioactive materials, certain classes of powerful mutagenic chemicals. Those are the only things that track with what I know. How long had he been ill? Tumors are highly unpredictable. A growth of this size would seemingly take a fair amount of time, but he would have been in immense pain. Which might explain the illicit drug use. Even with the drugs, a condition like this would be almost impossible to ignore. And the amount of drugs he'd have to take to ease the pain would make him a near zombie. Strange. Have you seen anything else like this recently? No, thank God. Oh, they're FBI agents. They were here a couple of days ago. How long had he been taking drugs? Well, it's hard to say. Organ tissue and blood samples may provide some evidence, but it still could be hard to determine. The evidence of massive tumors suggests that the subject was suffering severe pain, and the drugs could have been used to mitigate the pain. There was a case a couple of months ago, a fire at sea, the... The Terracan, sure. I remember it. You're the second FBI agent to ask me about that this week. What are you talking about? Well, actually, to be specific, you're the third FBI agent. There were a pair here the other day, a man and a woman. They had the bodies of the Terracan crew members exhumed. She insisted on performing a second autopsy. What were their names? Sorry, I'll have to look that up. I see a lot of names. It was Mulder and Scully, wasn't it? Yes. Diana Scully and Wolf Mulder, that's right. What did she find? I have no idea. The bodies are still here if you want to see them. What were the results of the original autopsy? They died of severe burns. We want to see them. All right. You're not squeamish, I hope. Got a coming here. Fair warning, this is gonna be pretty bad. These guys had been interred for two months. You all right? Just peachy, thanks. Can we get this over with, please? Sure. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I think someone's stolen the bodies from the Terracan. 
You two stay here. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll let you know if I find anything. What the hell have we stumbled onto here? This case is much bigger than I first thought. Boy, that's an understatement. Oh my god. What is it? I think I know what's going on here. Oh, Jesus. I hope I'm wrong. What? They're smuggling something. They're smugglers. Wong worked for the same people as the crew of the Terracon. That would explain the slicker and the lack of fishing equipment. So, they worked for the same people. You questioned Wong. He was killed because they thought he talked. Your two missing agents have the crew from the Terracon exhumed and both they and the corpses turn up missing? We've stumbled upon a smuggling ring bringing either radioactive material or possibly chemical weapons into the U.S. from the former Soviet Union. That explains the fire on the Terracon, Wong's cancer, why he was killed, and what happened to your two missing agents. They got too close. Someone's covering their tracks and they're not afraid to shoot FBI agents to do it. You and I... We have to stop this. If I'm right, thousands of people might die. I'm going to have to demand that we cooperate fully with one another. Okay. You just got yourself a new partner. Your tax dollars at work. Hey, do the words lunch hour mean anything to you? You're in a mood today. What do you want? You heard from Gloria? Nope, she's still at her mom's. Hey, when are you gonna pay me that dollar? Do you know that I grew up in Cleveland? Oh, Cleveland? Really? Yes. And as a child, I've always regarded it as hell. Do you have any idea how cold it is in Cleveland? Cold. Very cold. It is very cold in Cleveland today. But not cold enough.
You working on anything good? Yes, actually, uh, an art theft. Very cool stuff. Mum's the word. Ah, so the comic book is research. Did you get those prints lifted? I just fetched them, Miss Daisy. I still need to process them. And they say sugar has no effect on children. Ah, another hunk of lead. I love bullets. Simple, tough, silent. Kind of like you there, Wilmore. Yet in the right hand, they speak volumes. You want I should match this against the last one? Astute as always. I shall make it so. Oh. Very cool. Cyrillic? I guess. I just need it translated. So let it be written, so let it be done. Yowza. What is this? A bomb? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. But I do need you to tell me just what the hell it is. Your wish is my command. Okie dokie then guys, I'm going to end up this part here now. So um, until next time, goodbye and take care guys.